love the law of one. And I love mm -hmm. the way they describe how we evolve, how we ascend, you know, that, that those of us on earth, eventually, as we evolve, we're all going to meld into the same entity. You know, we all get closer and closer and closer. Right, right now, we, we're separated here. The thing is, we all do this kind of work on the other side. Okay. We just we just have to remember, or not have to, but once we remember that we're so multi-level, the multi-faceted, then this doesn't seem so burdensome. Does that make sense? It, it, it makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. And and you you just said it. I mean, once, once you do a little spiritual seeking, everything fall, everything yes. starts to fall into place. I mean, in, in my little bit of growth, it has for me. And like you said, this, if you start, if you open your eyes, signs, synchronicities are everywhere. They really are. You can even, I've even asked for signs. Um, and they're always they, met. They're they show always up. met. Yeah. It may not be up. in your time, but they do show right. up. Definitely. They do show up. That's yeah. right. I, I think, like you said, the I mean, the other side, they're they they're watching over us. Mm -hmm. You know, ready to ready to step in, ready to help. Um, <laughs> another thing, another thing that I do is I, I I ask a lot for angels to help me or my guides. You know, I, I speak to them, even though I can't see them. I know they're there. I believe it. But, but um, yeah, I'm I'm constantly letting them know. Hey, I'll take any help you want to give me. So. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me the other night I always ask my um because I love the wake back to bed method that you yeah. talked about that's my favorite method for out of body really? experience okay. yes okay. yeah and um the other and when I do that I ask my my guys to wake me up at a certain time because I don't use alarm clocks mm -hmm. and I ask them to okay. wake me up and they always do wow uh, so the other night it wasn't that long ago two or three nights ago uh, I have my bluetooth speaker in the bedroom sitting on the dress over here and <laughs> it's like 4 44 of course right i hear my speaker go off <laughs> it it wasn't on it just goes off and says connected to so whatever it is and so i asked him to wake me up around 4 30 it went uh -huh. off around 4 44 4 44 Either they were trying to wake me up and they couldn't decide to try something a little bit harder. To work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and that, I mean, you, well, you got the speaker going off that wasn't on and four, 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 four. Meeting. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. I love that. I love <laughs> stories like this. It's just, they're, they're, you know, and, and like you said, like the more we share, the more people share. So yeah. it's good. It's, yeah. it's really good. I, and like you said, you had written down UFOs. Um, I yes. believe I told you about a UFO experience I had with my sisters and mother mm. um, before I had the out of body the out of body experience. You know where I saw my my higher self, um, and I might have been ten years old, and my younger sister was eight, my older sister was twelve. We were all in the back seat. Our mother was driving us home from a school function. One it was so it was at night, and we lived out in a rural. Uh, part of the um, city it, anyway as we're you know heading heading home my younger sister notices the bright star in the sky we all it was so bright we all start watching it then we realize oh it's not a star because it's moving around you know like it's not a star so we're we're all watching it and tracking it and maybe two minutes later we lose we lose it and my mother turns onto our our, our street, which is very low lit. There's like one um, large street lamp and uh, out of nowhere, out, literally out of no, there's no other cars on our little street. Out of nowhere comes this glowing green orb uh, about the size of a car. Wow. And we could not see edges because it was so bright. There was no sound whatsoever. It came from, I guess, above. It came on us so fast and it was headed straight towards the car. My mother had to swerve off the road 
or else it would have it would have hit us head on and we were terrified we jumped we everybody went in different directions and um my mother you know gathered us and we ran to a neighbor's so my mother is knocking on the door screaming we just saw a ufo we just saw you know we just saw a ufo and of course she's telling the truth they think we're crazy but they were so nice you know they you know, offered us drink of water, come inside, but we didn't, we ended up getting back in the car and, um, we get back home half a mile down the road. And so my mother tells, you know, my father about this and we're all like hyperventilating, you know, it was crazy. And my father is laughing and doesn't even talk, doesn't even want to talk about it. Doesn't even consider what just happened to his wife and children it's like he couldn't handle the truth that's what i think and every time we brought it was like it changed our course ufos are real whether it was from another planet or whether it was our military you know uh, which would have been really dangerous having it come head on to another car you know who knows what would have happened i mean it would have hit us so um yeah yeah but he and, and and Every time we brought it up, he would just laugh and just laugh. Ha, 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 UFO. And my father, on in his last few months of life, um, he was terminal. I, I used to, I, I would bring up things. And I brought up, I said, so you remember when we saw the UFO, when it almost hit the car? And do you know he believed it? And he said, oh, I believe. I believe there's other life out there. So I was glad to hear that. That's you nice. Know, that, yeah. yeah. That it was no longer a joke to him. Right. Yeah. You know, and men being the man in the family, I would imagine, uh, and I've experienced this mm-hmm. myself with men that I've known, they don't mm-hmm. feel, they can't control that type of situation. So, yeah. so they have to laugh it off and not look at it or, um, it's fear and not yeah. being able to be in control of a situation, protecting his family. Yeah. Maybe he, yeah, I, yeah. I, I didn't look at it like that. I, 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 I thought, how could he make, how could he laugh at it? You know, after we were terrified, yeah. um, it was enlightening, but terrifying at the same time. So, yeah. Cause what's it <laughs> in a man thinking like a man, a man in the family, I would imagine mm-hmm. that if I was a man and the man in the family trying to think like a man that maybe I'd be thinking, well, I, I can't, how am I supposed to protect my family from something like that? Now, if it's another car or if it's a person out there that's, you know, I can get my rifle or whatever, run out there, I can protect you. But how am I supposed to protect you from something like that? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be hard. Yeah, of course. And, And unfortunately, you know, like why couldn't my father have been in the car with us to open his mind, yeah. you know, so. Well, it's yeah. Like, Everything know, in its own time. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, guess, of- I guess everybody everybody awakens when they awaken, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, did you have missing time? Do you know if you had missing time? Do you know, I have never asked, I need to ask my sisters about that. Not that I recall. Um, I've never had any odd dreams about it or mm-hmm. never felt any anything I, I I don't think we have missing time I'm gonna ask them though it, you know just to see if, if I don't recall missing time but then again I I don't think I had a, I was 10 so I don't think I right. had a watch on or yeah. you know I don't think we were even aware of exactly what time it was so you know and you hear stories of people that have been taken and literally they've been gone for 15 minutes you know, they come back and they've only lost 15 minutes. Some people lose longer. Some mm-hmm. people have gained time, which is really interesting. That is. So, yeah, that yeah. means that, you know, time is bendable. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Once you practice with I, it, you realize that I did that in an airport one time when I was going to miss my plane. Yeah. There's no way I wouldn't have missed my plane if I, because, Yeshua was sitting right there with me and he said, this, listen to me, this is what you do. You, and he showed me time, like a rubber band kind of thing. And he said, yeah. And he said, what you do is you stretch it if you want to stretch time. And so I saw it stretching in my mind. He said, think of your situation and stretch, stretch it. 
it, it, like slow it down kind of thing, but stretch it. And if you yeah. want to compress, compress it. Compress it and just it focus on that. Mm -hmm. Focus. That is amazing. Um, do you think anybody can do that? We can all do enough? it. Really? Just, okay. So from what I have read about manifestation and all that, and it, it's the intensity of the emotion put it so if so you really want to focus like really intensely focus on the situation and stretch it or that is I've never heard that Sharon that's amazing yeah. well love that it. was an emotional time because or emotional experience situation because I was on the inbound flight and you know when you have uh time in between flights to, to catch another flight and right. we were late and so uh basically I was not going to make my flight so and, he's and, and so I was anxious about that. He said, "Listen to me. Do this." And I made it. Oh, mm -hmm. My gosh. And it worked. It worked. That's, totally. That is well, like Einstein said, I believe it was Einstein, um past, present, future are simultaneous. And the set, you know, I'm into the set material and nice. I think That's and the law of one and nice. from what they share, you know, it's all happening now. Now right. the, the present moment has the power. So, wow. Yeah, it's beautiful. That's amazing. I, I just learned something really awesome. I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna see if I can work with that. I don't Why not? Know. Yeah, yeah. Why I'm not? Try. Yeah, but, you, but yeah, the emotion, that makes sense. The emotion would have, um, could give it more oomph, you know, yeah. behind yeah. it, more and energy. Yeah. And, um, you know, the, the actress D Wallace who starred mm -hmm. as the mother in the movie ET, mm -hmm. she, I don't know if you know this, she, um, she is a channel, um, and she's been doing it for years and she never thought that she would be a channel for any, any information. And she has a YouTube, uh, channel. I'd asked, I found her by accident oh. and, I do a, a little um, visualization process in the mo every morning. And what, what they do, the channel sh showed her, if you teach your people, your tribe, they envision one of their happiest moments. And, and mine would be my son when he was a baby. And, it, and it, whatever it is, it has to be a moment where it brings a smile to your face like immediately. And this particular moment when my son was a toddler, it's just like, oh my God, I'm right back there. So you bring that up. And then you start speaking out loud, I am divine health and wellness. And you go into this routine, I'm divine money flow and whatever. And that the channel has taught her, you breathe in, say the, the, the words, I am divine health and wellness, exhale while you're holding that happy, because love is more powerful than anything. Right. And it's pretty, it's really interesting. So. Wow. That makes yeah. so much sense. I love that. It does. It makes a lot of sense. So. Mm. <laughs> yeah yeah that's beautiful i'll have to check out her channel i didn't realize yeah. that she was a, a, a channeling for higher beings oh, yeah. yes very cool she, yeah yeah so so um uh, since you're interested in ufos and all that kind of thing uh, mm -hmm. i want I'm, I'm wondering if it do you, in the law of one do you know about anki and enlil yes okay yes. So you were talking in the beginning about the old testament and the new testament so have you heard in, in any of your research yep. that some people think some researchers believe and some channels believe and contactees yep. believe and i kind of believe it myself with my history Me too. Me okay too. okay that the old testament is based on again info yep or enlil i'm sorry enlil, enlil. the general yes. the general who That's Wanted right. to keep us in slavery. Yeah. And it wasn't it his brother Inky who wanted to give us the pineal gland. Yes. Pineal gland. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I pronounce it pineal too. Okay. Okay. Yeah, totally. And he didn't want yep. us to, and, and Lil did not want us to grow spiritually. Right. They wanted to Correct. keep us, he wanted to keep we, us as slaves. He as and his slaves. cohorts. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's exactly. And I believe that. Yeah. Uh, and, and, um, I mean, you know, it, it's almost as if the Star Wars movies are based on fact. Documentary, you know? yeah, if, totally. If, if you, yeah, it's um, th there's so much information out there, you know, just just for the finding. I mean, it's really fascinating. I love it. I, yeah, I, 
Yeah, I love the law of one. And I love mm -hmm. the way they describe how we evolve, how we ascend, you know, that, that those of us on earth, eventually, as we evolve, we're all going to meld into the same entity. You know, we all get closer and closer and closer. Right, right now, we, we're separated here. We're really not separated, but we believe we are. We think we are. Yeah. We think we are. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. this, like you, like you said earlier, this is the dream. So yeah, it's one of many. <laughs> yeah, it's like one it's what we do since we're infinite. I had a dream yesterday, okay, where yeah. I was sitting with the architect of the this com complex matrix, whatever you want to call it, holographic yep. reality. And he mm -hmm. was telling me some things and it started out in the dream because it wasn't, uh, I wasn't lucid. I had some right. lucidity, but not like an out of body. I feel like these are out of body experiences and, um, okay. but just not lucid, lucid in them where I'm um, sitting there. Well, actually I'm in this huge complex. It starts out where I'm in this huge complex and, uh, and it's got doors everywhere. People are there. They live there. And, um, and I'm, and I don't have the awareness of what it is, but other than, okay, I'm, I don't want to be here anymore. I want to get out, but I can't find my way out. And I'm talking to people, right. how, how do I get out? They're right. like, no, you don't. It just like, reminds me of Hotel California, you know, right? And so and they're saying, and That's then good. there's this one male who says, here, I'll, um, I'll show you the way out. And he okay. shows me a door and I, and I go out and I'm in like the, in my out of bodies, I always want to be outside. Uh, really? That, yeah. And if I'm in a building, I'll, I'll always try to find my way through the roof or something to go outdoors because it's more expansive. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 And I feel like I can do so much more in those spaces. And so. Sure. So the next thing I know is I'm back in the complex and I'm like, I'm back and it pisses me <laughs> off and I get really mad in the, in the first, in the first part of it that I can't get out. Right, and, right. And these people are just kind of doing whatever and they're, you know, don't you want to get out? Don't you want, you know, want to be free from of this? And were there mirrors on the ceiling and champagne <laughs> all night? <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, and, check out. <laughs> and so I'm I, and in the set when I come back, I'm talking to this woman in blue and she's like huh? a um housekeeper kind of person is how i'm feeling but i feel like but i realize right. afterwards you know that we have a lot of symbology and in our dreams in that that she's in service and i say well oh. you know don't you want to get out of this place because i want to get out of this place right oh you were going to take her with you well i was going to ask or her how i don't i don't know i just want to I'm just talking to her. Don't you want to get out of here? Yeah. And, um, or help me get out of here either, either way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and she, and she says, Oh, I'm okay here. I have everything I need. I have food. I have a shelter. Um, I'm, you know, I have a, I have a nice, uh, job. She didn't use the word job, but I, I contribute to, what? to the whole, yes. she this, said, this, this little reality they got yes. going on there. Yeah. And she said, and I'm, I said, but don't you want to be free? She goes, I'm free inside. I'm like, no. oh, oh, okay. And so <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, whatever. So uh, I want to be free. <laughs> whatever. So we just well, had that I'm conversation. I know. I want to get out of here. And then I'm sitting down with who he told me he was the architect, the CEO right? or architect. And I remember that feeling that, that phrase in some way, because I journal all my dreams too. And, um, and he was telling me and I'm saying, well, and I was sitting there in a very calm thing. He didn't feel negative. He just, he felt a little uh -huh. arrogant to me, but, uh, he's like, I'm like, well, but we're all kind of trapped in here. Right. And he's like, well, no, you come here to experience what this complex has to offer in experience. And, and, um, mm -hmm. and I'm like, but we can't get out. He says, he says, well, yeah, you can when you want to. <laughs> yeah and he was okay with us keep coming back he's like because it adds to the complex it adds right. to it and i kept yes you know he didn't use the word matrix or, or virtual reality or anything he just said kind of the complex kind of thing and this is the telepathic uh -huh. and um, right right and he was okay with negative beings or you know or positive beings he was okay with any of it he's just like it you know this is hey this it's is neither here what nor it was there. 
<laughs> this is what I built it for. This is what it's built for, you know, and, and he said that people come here, there, here, right. Um, right. To, to, uh, to experience the challenge of the chains and he showed me like the chains and, yes. and the experience of breaking free <gasps> of the chains. No. Oh, my that Sarah, I like, first of all, I'm amazed that you can recall all of that information. A lot of times people, well, you've been doing this for so long, yeah. you know, just like Bob Monroe. I mean, Bob Monroe would like live, you know, he had like another partner and, and like stepkids or, or kind of, like he had so another, I. <laughs> well, I remember you in your end, was it in your NDE when you mm -hmm. met your a, a past life or current life where you were a mer, mer person? Yeah. That's another one. Yeah. <clears throat> that's another okay. reality. Yeah. Okay. Wow. But I have a human one too. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> So you were like, did it take you a long time, a lot, you know, experience to where you could bring all this information back? I mean, yes. that's a lot to remember. Yes. But, and it still okay. comes to me as I'm writing my, my book on that in the after that experience in the aftermath that as I write it, cause I journal everything, but as I write it, right. that more and more comes to me because it's, um, and I got a lot of it in meditation and in my out of bodies yeah. and, and all of that. Yeah. And just sitting with it, Yeshua. So, um, well, yeah. Well, it how, takes a did, so, so how did you, I didn't mean to interrupt, but how did you get out of the complex or do you, did well, I'm not out, out of the complex. So this is the complex. This is this holographic reality is the complex. So what I realized as I'm journaling yeah. is that because as you journal your dreams, you can always ask your guide help you help you oh, okay. with interpreting it and understanding it because it's all experience okay. and messages that right. the first time I was in there, I want to get out. So the the architect or whoever it was, right, said, well, here, I'll help you get out. And so I left. I died basically left that reality, that body. If you want to look at it metaphorically, went yeah. into another, um, a little bit higher reality, but I still wasn't, okay. you know, all the way back to source or, or I hadn't gone to what we would call heaven, but I, I reincarnated very quickly. And which is why I understand, you know, that's if we, if we aren't aware, usually then, um, mm -hmm. then we reincarnate pretty quickly. Really? Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've never heard. Not always. I mean, Thank everyone's you. different, but um, right. So we can choose to come back because that's another out of body I had where I was at a way station, a station where people were re wanting to reincarnate real quickly, and the, mm -hmm. we were telling them, "You don't have to. You can stay here and process." But they, no, I want to go back. I didn't finish this, or I didn't want to do that, or I want to do this. Oh. And so, okay. um, and so where wow. I came back into another body, and here I am again. I'm like, here I'm again. <laughs> I thought I already got out of here. The the but the, this is fascinating to me. It's fascinating, amazing. But but it's so cute the way you describe it with a laugh. And I mean, I mean, it, it's it's a it, it's a good attitude. It, it, so here you are again. <laughs> here I am again. Here we are again. Okay. Now how do I get out of here? <laughs> right. But you kept trying. You kept trying. How do I get out? How do I get out? Yes. Do, because you want to keep going. You want to keep going up. Yes, we want to we want to uh, get off this wheel, right? Let me turn my phone yes, off. It just yes. went off. We want to get off this wheel, and so now we have the tools. We have the tools, and and, mm -hmm. and so the architect was helping me understand, obviously, or or just ha we were just having this conversation that wow. you you know whatever you want to do is fine with me. Yes, you know if you want to stay in, stay here, right? This do out this. Um, you know, swinging pendulum where we go this way, where it's more negative, we go this way, where it's more positive, whatever. Right. So we're moving it to more positive or just at least finding balance, at least finding balance, right? But I believe we're moving it up to where it's more positive. But yeah. the the reality is moving into it, you know, has been. He's like, that's how it was built to to um, evolve or, yes. you know, um, or not evolve. Not even evolve some, maybe it doesn't it, evolve. Right. Well, maybe it, it evolves like, in a certain way or a certain way, it, this way it, or this right. way. Right. And, and like the law of one uh, shares, you, it, it's like you, I don't know how to say this, but it, it's like, you know, we think we have free will and I guess we do 
to a certain extent, Mm -hmm. but according to the law of one, you can only, you can only make the negative choices, whether you're supposed to choose service to self or service to others. Right. And you can only choose service to self so many times before you finally got to go. You have to admit it and go, darn it. We're all one, you know, Mm -hmm. and then you choose service to others. But the service to self is just as valid. Right. Because you learn. Right. And yes, totally. And um, I remember in the law of one, too, I haven't finished the whole series. I've just read the first two. Uh, Yeah, it is. It's awesome. Um, That in order to shift into the the ne- uh, the next yuga or the new age, the, the mm-hmm. moving from this age to the next age, uh, which is what we're doing now uh, at yep. the end of the twenty six thousand year cycle, I guess somewhere yep. around there, approximate. Right. That we our thoughts have to be on fifty one percent or more 50? in service to self. To I mean, others. service to others. Excuse to me, others. service Correct. to others. Yes. Yeah. And yep. that's what shifts us. Right. Right. So, and, yeah. Yeah. That's, and, and, and that's, a, that's, and, a, that's a given. That's, that's <laughs> easy. That's 51 per, you know, because I look at this, like I've read statistically one, roughly one out of 10 people are sociopath or psychopath. Okay. And so that's a small percentage, mm-hmm. you know, unfortunately, I believe that one, you know, that small percentage or have places of positions of power in the world. And they're basically running it in order to serve themselves. They're running it into the ground, Mm -hmm. but this has to happen because our systems, all systems, in my opinion, have been corrupt. Oh yeah. And you froze better ideas and better ways to do things. And, and our old, the old broken stuff has to fall. And I think, I feel like we're watching the fall, but it's a good thing. So. No, I agree with you. Totally. Yeah. It's, um, I love hearing you say that because when you look at it, it from that perspective, from that higher perspective, I mean, we're, we have come back. I've learned this too. And I learned this 20 years ago. Those of us that were in Atlantis have come back. What is this? The past? When I hear, when I say back, I'm like, what do we do for our future selves have come back into right. the past to uh-huh. correct the Atlantean fall, because that was the negative that, that caused was. the positive to fall. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it turned things upside down. So now we are writing that. And I sat with my counsel in and out of my experience one time, 20 years ago or so. And they, and this yeah. is before I knew anything about Atlantis. And they were yeah. telling me, and I saw some ETs there and they were telling me, so oh my you're, gosh. Here, you're here to write, you, you know, to help with it, what happened in Atlantis. I said, what happened in Atlantis? <laughs> <laughs> and they're looking at each other like, let's just say it wasn't good. Let's just, oh my gosh. Oh my God. Keep going. Like, she has so much to learn. Okay. She, hey, no, no. I mean, oh, this my was 20 God. years ago when I was that just was, starting to travel. Yeah. How, how, how large was your council? There was, I believe, seven. Uh, wow. Two Pleiadians, big, beautiful, hunky Syrian man male two pleiadians and uh there was uh someone one two three there were actually there was five and i felt like there was a um gray type being not merely gray but a oh. bald headed um being next to me which i couldn't see and uh right. but, but had that and then and then one next to me over here and these may have been wow. my guides but there was five. Yeah. So I had seven with me and then I wow. had five in front of me. Wow. Gosh, I tell you, um, you know, I, I, I actually, my son started college. Uh, and so I got a little part-time job at a pet store. So, you know, I'll do, I'll, I donate to animal causes and things like that. I, I felt like, you know, I mean, I, I, we can always do more. I, I need to do more compared to what you're doing in the, in the out of body state, that's like, that's so, that is so huge, you know, and those of you that have that, you know, I know you said we all go out of body and I do believe that, but, um, those of you that can see and 
you know, the mediums and the psychics. Mm -hmm. And I all believe, I, I do believe that we all have psychic gifts. Um, but, but, you know, mine aren't as developed as yours, but those of you that do have that sight um, and, and recall, it's amazing the work that is going on behind scenes. I find it just, I could listen to it all day long. Yeah. I find it, it just, it's so important. It really right. is. And, and it's funny though, once you open up to the multidimensional reality, this little day-to-day -day stuff, it's, we're just by like, I'm just biding my time, you know, <laughs> I mean, I hate to say that, like, I'm ready to get going here. I'm ready to, but this is important. We, this we need is to, important. We and, need, we need to yeah. do this. We need, we need to get this done here. Right. You know, and what we're doing it's, is, is, and what you're, as you're talking, I, um, I'm getting this, I feel yesterday here too, um, that, oh. yeah, definitely. Uh, is, is that we're bringing we're merging the worlds and that's what he talked about is the kingdom the kingdom you know the kingdom of yes. heaven and it's not a place it's it's within our mind it's within our mm -hmm. hearts and so heart, we're merging right. we're bringing we're bringing that here and we're rising up to it and um yeah so that's what we're doing and none of this is we say the mundane world yeah i feel the mundane world would be uh the soap opera stuff right yes Yes, the but, greed. Yeah. I, I, you know, I get. I, I try not to judge, and you know, because everybody's playing their part. Everybody yeah. is. Yet, sure. the child trafficking disgusts me, oh, same and I, I want to see them punished for it. I, I can't help it. The cruelty to animals. I want to see those people. You know. Then I realize, okay, we do. We reap what we sow, mm -hmm. as I do, and they will. They will experience what they've done to others. And that's what the life review, yeah. I believe, is for. And that's what yeah. happens if, if yeah. you know, if there's, that's why it's good to do your life review on in our life here. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. I'm with, I'm with you. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. And, yeah. And I, I guess twice. that's what the 12th step is about. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, it's not just going to meetings and um, sounds like, you know, a little about it, of course, but you know, you're, you're doing some, some heavy duty writing and journaling and, and then not, it doesn't just end there. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you're, you're bringing that stuff up and then, and then you have to face to face make amends, right. which is, which is amazing. You know, the stuff that you thought you could never do, you actually do it. If you want to get sober, if you want a new life and you want some freedom and happiness, um, you'll, you'll do it. And it's, it's a good feeling. It's a really good feeling. So good. good. Well, congratulations again on that. Thank yeah. Thank you. That's really sweet. I've been talking to a lot of people recently that I didn't even know, um, like here are mm -hmm. in are are have, um, are in recovery, I guess you could call it, or have gone, gone through that, that process and changing their life that way. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to talk to a gentleman at the end of the week who was also uh, in in his recovery and I went through his recovery and he has a YouTube channel and everything and he's out there and, oh wow uh, just helping uh, people helping people yeah. yeah and so are you and that's what it's oh, all about you. isn't it that, it that that is what it's all about and and this is coming when I say I suffered to get sober I was a chronic relapser by the time I was 17 I was a daily drinker uh, I don't know how I, my parents were not alcoholic. I did have a grandfather who was an alcoholic and, uh, he died of cirrhosis of the liver. And I'm telling you, I took to it like a fish to water. And so by the time I was 19, I knew that I, something happened bad when I started drinking and yet still it took me another 13 years to get, to get clean. So it, it was a miracle. It was, it was God doing for me what I could not do for myself. Yeah. So yeah. that's so important, isn't it? That I believe that's what has a lot to do with why the planet is where it is in, in having to go through our quickening, go through our, our detox, go through our, you know, our um, shift here or our transformation humanity mm -hmm. is because we've, I feel very strongly and I know this in my heart. So we've lost that connect. I mean, we're always connected, but our conscious connection with, with some higher power, with God, with source, yeah. with love. I mean, it, it, look at the world. And, and when I said, you know, 
the people that are running things are the socio psychopaths. Yeah. Honestly, we have a role in it because it's almost like that's what we've manifested. Yeah. You're I, right. I like to, you're I right. like to, yeah. say, like, I'm a good person. I, I don't have part in that, but in some way, I, I, I have part, part of it, that, mm -hmm. you know, in some way, um, cause I'm in the system. So, mm -hmm. you know, right. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. I like to think of myself as good, but. Well, yeah, we, you know, whatever our role is, we all have our roles. We were complacent or we, you know, whatever. And, and also in our defense, I'm going to say in this lifetime, we didn't know a lot about, we didn't really know the wool has been pulled over our eyes for one thing in a lot yeah. of areas, but we do have the yeah. place, but we, you know, we might see things in other countries and right. you know, all that happens over there, but that's not going to happen here. And so we have right. distractions to keep us from, from looking deep. Right. And, and that's what we haven't been doing. And so the system right. is set up that way. And the architect up. tells me that he didn't set it up. He, I'm going to say he, cause it was a male I was right. talking to. He didn't set it up that way. The beings that came within the system <laughs> set it up that way. So he just, oh. it's like, Hey, whatever you guys want to do is kind of like watching a ant farm or whatever, you know, right. It's like, right. However yeah. it evolves or however it goes. It's okay. however it goes. Right. right. Just don't blow it up. <laughs> yeah, just don't blow it up oh my gosh wow you know wow. and then he's like well and if you do then i'll start another one but um, have you he had that attitude about it it was it was right. interesting that's that is well obviously he was past like this human incarnation because because like us we're we're so attached like no it's not you know he's like yeah. hey whatever whatever goes whatever is whatever goes yeah so yeah right. he, he yeah yeah have you um, heard of another YouTube YouTuber that is into OBEs named Darius J. Wright? Yes, I okay. love him. I want to I, I like want to reach out to him, see if he'll come on, come out here oh, and talk oh. with me. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, he's he's been studying that the out of body. I mean, he's been a traveler since he was a kid. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's interesting how he describes the constructs like he, the matrix. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. I haven't yeah. heard that part yet. I actually invested yeah. in his course, but <gasps> I haven't. Did. Yeah. It's, it's all videotaped. Um, okay. So it's not one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Right. But I haven't, I've only gotten halfway through the first, um, okay. the first part, the first video, okay. but yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I'd love to hear about that because I don't, that's something that I haven't delved into. I mm -hmm. just, know my work and know what I do and know I want to yeah who I want to meet he, he, and what I want to do right. yeah you seem to yeah you're 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 doing um you're doing you're meeting with entities and people or what you know people and he is basically like shown the con he meets entities but his work is more like it's like showing what the construct looks like to him mm -hmm. and the fact that there is a construct Right. And the fact that you can go outside of your body and see a construct. He's like, nice. like that. He's showing you the blueprint. You know, nice. that's, I think that's his genre, but I like him. So. I love that. Yeah. 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 He's pretty cool. So, he's a yeah. cutie. Yeah. He is a cutie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very handsome. So. <laughs> Easy on the eyes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's down under too. An American living in Australia. Oh yeah. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Tammy, this has been so much fun. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I have had such a good time. Thank you so much for having me on. I, I do appreciate of it. Of course. And we'll have to talk again. And um, sure. yeah, we've gone on for about 90 minutes, which we could keep, just oh. keep on talking. But I would like to ask you a couple questions that I like to ask my guests. Okay. So what in your feeling, your opinion, your, your experience, what is the purpose of life here? on planet earth the purpose you know honestly i think the purpose of life is to awaken evolve grow and i do that by learning a lot of times i learn by doing and making my mistakes but for me that's the best way i learn um i think it's just i think that this is a school i think that we're here to grow 
we may have to come back and grow some more and come back. And, but eventually I think we evolve and, and, you know, head back home, head back to our source. Nice. So. Nice. Okay. And another question. Thank you. Thank you for that. Is, uh, for those, anyone who is watching who may be going through tough times right now and, uh, they could use some encouraging words. What, what might you tell them? What, what can you tell them right now? I, honestly, there is always, always a solution to any problem. And I think if we could turn our perception, I think everything is perception. And if we could just tweak our perception to looking at any obstacle, any issue um, as a chance to learn, it, it's either someone told me once, it's everything is either a lesson or a blessing. So everything's a blessing because if it's a lesson, then I've learned something, which is a blessing. Right. And everything's temporary here. You know, I thought that I was, I thought I would never, ever live sober. I really did. And I, I just kept trying. I just kept trying. And I, 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 I depended on the other people to carry me and they did. So nice. Beautiful. there's always help. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much. And You're bless welcome. you for all the, for being here on the planet. And it's been an amazing time spending with you here. I mean, you're, you're angelic. Look at you. You're, you're an angel. You're an angel here on the planet. Oh, you, you, I, I mean, you, you were such a light and I want to thank you for putting all your gifts out there and your information and sharing, and you know, you could keep this stuff to yourself but you're sharing it for everybody to learn from. So I, I want to thank you for that. You, you're you such a sweetheart. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. And thank you everyone for watching. Uh, please do the YouTube thing, subscribe, comment. And um, we'd love to hear your thoughts on our conversation and any other thoughts. And like, if you like the, the I mean, what's not, not, not to like, if you like the conversation. <laughs> and I'll see you again next time. Thanks, Tammy. Thanks. Okay. Bye.